Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Sophie and today I'm gonna let my animals pick my makeup. Specifically, my lovely little hedgehog Mia pick my makeup and my two dogs Fritz who is cowering in the corner next to me and Gigi who is back there somewhere barking at nothing. All right, so first we're gonna start off with primer. So let's roll the footage. Okay, so we're starting with primer and basically I'm gonna put her like right here. She's in here right now. She's sleeping. She's a little angry girl. I'm gonna put her like right here and whichever one she walks towards and then the first one she touches is the one we're gonna go with. Okay, Mia. Pick a primer. <laughs> no, don't come back towards me. I believe in you, Mia. Pick a primer. Pick a primer. Mia. You can't go back to sleep. Pick a primer. Okay, so I've changed the system. I'm just gonna put her right in the middle and whichever one she walks towards is the one we're gonna choose. Oh, oh, great. So we're gonna start off with primer and Mia chose the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. All right, now we're primed, we're ready to go. Let's jump into foundation. Okay, so I put the foundations on her blanket this time because she likes to go under her blanket and now she's walking away. <laughs> so we'll see which one she picks and hopefully she'll walk towards one. Oh, oh, she didn't touch anything. Okay, <laughs> she touched this one. We're going with Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. I'm going to stipple this foundation on with my Real Techniques stippling brush, and then I will blend it in with my Beauty Blender. foundations on we're gonna jump into concealer and when you see the footage it'll be my dogs this time because Mia was done picking makeup and I forgot to make her pick concealer so let's roll that clip okay so I put a treat next to all the concealers now Gigi pick one which one do you want you, <laughs> you can have one she's definitely going for that one there we go. Good job. Gigi picked the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which is perfect. It goes great with this foundation. So let's put that on. And now we blend. Okay, now it's time to set our face. Powder, please. Please, please, please pick a powder. Okay, she picked this one. All right, perfect. The wonderful Mia chose Cody Airspun powder. All right, now it's time to bronze. All right, we're gonna put it here. We're gonna turn it around. Mia, pick one. Oh, good. And it's out of focus, but she picked that one. <laughs> and I actually hate this one. So for bronzer, Mia picked my least favorite of the bunch. Thank you, Mia. It's the Rimmel Natural Bronzer Waterproof Bronzing Powder. Why would you need it to be waterproof? I don't know, but let's apply it. Okay, so now we're bronzed, and you can't really see it now, but if like the sunlight hits it, my forehead will be all golden, and not in like a good golden way. It just looks like I put gold glitter everywhere. Next is blush. For blush, Mia, pick a blush. Go towards the blushes. Go towards the blushes, not away from the blushes. Go towards the blush. Pick a blush. Oh, great, perfect. So for blush, Mia chose L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Blush in the shade Innocent Flush. All right, blush is done. Let's move on to highlighter. Okay, now it's time for highlight, and Mia could definitely make this a look if she uses <laughs> this rainbow highlighter. So let's let her pick. Here, pick a highlight. Yeah, there we go. 
So for highlighter, we're using the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in Double Down. Now to set all those powders in place, we're going to use MAC Fix Plus. Alright, I'll be back with brows and then we can jump on into the eyeshadow. Alright, for her last choice, we have all of the eyeshadow palettes. There's definitely some looks that we could do here. This one's all rainbows, this one's shimmery, this one's like cool tones, and that one's warm tones, so she's got options. Let's see what she does. Gigi, pick one. Get one. Get one, Gigi. Alright, I'm back with brows. I primed my eyelids with the Milani eyeshadow primer and I set it with a skin toned powder. And now we can do eyeshadow. And the dogs, the wonderful dogs, picked out Huda Beauty Remastered Palette. These shimmer colors are, these. it's this top row, these shimmer colors are the best shimmer colors anyone will ever use. So I'm going to start off by taking a small fluffy brush. This is the Sony Kashuk Blending Crease Brush. And I'm going to dip into Demure, which is this... I don't know what kind of color it is. <laughs> brown? It's a brown color. I'm gonna take a brown color, I'm gonna put it in my crease. So my transition shade is done and transition shade just allows you to blend darker colors into your skin color basically it's making it look more natural even though we all know it's not natural <laughs> but the transition shade is in so now I'm gonna deepen up the crease I'm gonna go underneath of the transition shade so my transition shade kind of went above my crease I'm gonna go a little bit lower take a little bit of a darker color and define the crease more. Okay, now I'm gonna take this Sony Kashuk large eyeshadow brush. It's kind of fluffy and it's kind of like a packer brush, but um, it's neither. <laughs> it's a large eyeshadow brush. And I think I'm going to take the shade Coco. It's just a dark brown. This is a very lovely brown eyeshadow look we're doing today. So creative of me, I know. Um, we're gonna take that. Yeah. We're gonna take the shade Coco, which is just a dark brown shade. And I'm gonna pack it on the, I'd say outer third of my lid and kind of blend it into my crease just to define it, and then we'll put a sparkly shade on the lid. Now I'm gonna take an e.l.f. concealer brush. It's just, it's kind of like a packer brush. It just is good for applying shimmers and getting it really precise where you want it. And I'm gonna mist it with some MAC Fix Plus. And then I'm gonna pick up the shimmer shade that I want. I think I'm gonna pick up Pink Diamond. It's just a nice pink shade. <laughs> and then we're gonna pack it on my lid. Now, if you can see, that shade is a little more cool tone than the rest of my eye look. So I'm gonna take the shade right next to it, the rose gold shade, and I'm gonna use my finger and I'm gonna pack it on my lid again. Alright, so now I'm going to go under my eyes with the eyeshadow. We're basically going to take everything that we did on top and transfer it down to the bottom. So I'm going to start off with Demure, the shade that I used in my crease to start with. And I'm going to brush it under my lashes. So now I'm going to take the other side of the brush, which is a really skinny, um, it's just a really small skinny brush 
and I'm going to go in with the shade Henna and mix it with cocoa and go really close to my lash line. So that gave it a little bit more of a smoky look. So I'm gonna go back with the other end and just kind of blend it out. So now we're gonna go in with mascara. We have two mascara options, but let's see. Pick one, Jeech. Fritz, pick one. Pick one, bud. Here you go. Here, you want a treat? Get it, get the treat. Get the treat, Jeech. Why are you guys so obedient? Get the treat. Here, you want the treat? Okay. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with mascara, which was the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. And I'm gonna curl my lashes and I'm gonna put this on. All right, so mascara's on and I'm gonna take a little bit of the ColourPop highlighter from earlier. I'm gonna put it in my inner corners and uh, along my brow bone. Okay, so our look's almost done. We have lips left, and that is the most interesting thing that my animals pick. Gigi's gonna pick the lipstick. Fritz is gonna pick the lip gloss. There's some interesting choices in here, like this red one, and this is like a bright fuchsia color, but we'll see what they pick. <laughs> okay, get one. Get one, Gigi. Pick one. Oh, Gigi's picking. This is the one Gigi picked. Perfect. All right, now Fritz, pick one. Pick one, bud. You were so close to picking. Why didn't you pick? Oh, here she goes. Ew, she went for the red gloss. No, 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 don't say it anymore. She went for this red gloss. Thank you, Gigi. Now for lipstick, they didn't pick much that was interesting. It's more of just a my my perfect nude color. This is the Urban Decay Morning After lipstick, but for lip gloss, oh, they really love me. <laughs> they picked the e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Rouge Radiance. I think this will go perfectly with this lipstick. All right, so that's it for the look. The lips actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought they would because the lip oil is really like not pigmented, but it goes with the eyes quite nicely. It's all warm tone. I think this turned out really good. So this is the look. I woke Mia up one last time so that she could say goodbye and she's trying to get away. I love you so much. Do you like the look that you picked out? That you have picked out? Do you like how it turned out? I hope you do. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll be back soon. Bye.